Today you will get to know the pipeline process in SAP ECC and also SAP S4HANA on-premise. Before we start, some important remarks. So first of all, the pipeline process means that the material flows from a vendor's premises to our plant premises, meaning that the material, so the pipeline material, is not stored in any storage location, but directly consumed. An example would be electricity, oil, gas, or water. So for instance, if we for our company consume electricity from an electricity provider, we consume it directly via the pipeline. The same also counts then for oil, gas, or also water. Meaning that in this case, no purchase requisition or purchase order is needed, as the material is always available from the pipeline itself. So we directly consume it. I mean, just think about your private household as well. For instance, you consume electricity all the time. You do not create a purchase requisition or purchase order each and every time you want to consume electricity. And you can think about the same from an enterprise perspective. Also, no goods received is required here, as we do not receive any goods. We just withdraw them via a goods issue once we consume that. What is mandatory is the purchase info record and also we must define the material we utilize for the process as of type pipeline. And all of this we will now see in the system. Let's first inspect the material type for pipeline. This is done by a transaction code OMS2. That's OMS2. Scroll down till you find the material type pipe, double click on it to display the details. And here we can see the special material type pipeline is mandatory for the pipeline process. Also in the user department view, we can see that the storage view is not selected as we do not store anything over here. Let's go one note further down here on quantity value updating. And we can see neither a quantity nor a value update is required for the pipeline as we directly consume it. Now it's first of all time to create a material master for a pipeline material. Therefore we navigate to transaction code slash n mm01. That's slash n mm01. The industry sector, let's say Chemex, and the material type is pipe materials as explained before. And that's basically it. Now hit enter and at least we select the basic data one, the purchasing and the counting one. Our plant and then that's it. Now we provide a description that say we have water in this case. The base unit of measure would be liter. The material group is in my case 02. Then on the accounting one tab, we just provide the valuation class and the price control will for sure be a moving average price as the prices can vary frequently. So we just set it to let's say one for now, just as an example. Now we save our material. Next off, we create a purchasing info record for our pipeline material. So therefore we navigate to a transaction code slash n m e 11. That's slash n m e 11. Insert our supplier over here, the material, then the purchase organization and plant combination. And quite important, now we set the info category to pipeline. So we navigate to purchasing org data one. Here we insert the mandatory fields as always, the plant delivery time, purchasing group, standard quantity, as well as the price, let's say 50. And then extremely important is also the tax code, because in the end, when we settle the invoices, the tax code is also needed. Let's set it to V0 here. Otherwise, the invoices can't be generated automatically. And then we save the purchasing info record for our pipeline. Now as said, each and every time we consume a quantity of our water, we need to post a goods issue. So therefore we navigate to transaction code slash N M I G O that's slash N M I G O. And over here we select 07 goods issue and R10 other. We insert our material which is water, the quantity, let's say we consume 100 liters, where, here you can see we have the movement type 201, let's actually inspect this one, 
201P consumption for cost center from the pipeline. This would be the right one. Actually, right now you can see that the P here, the special indicator is still missing, so we need to include it over here. And then we also need to include here the partner, which is our vendor from whom we consume the pipeline material. And we have the account assignment to the cost center. And that's basically it. We can just check the goods issue. And you can see for sure I need to enter the plant as well as always. Then we can check again. The document is okay, so we can post. And you can see the material document has been posted successfully. So now let's actually display it. Click on display and then go. Then on document information, FI document, account. As of the accounting entries, we have a credit of 5,000 for the payables for consignment, which is actually a payable for the pipeline to be precise. However, this is listed all under the consignment account. And then we have a debit of 5,000 to a consumption account for the raw material. Now, before we can settle the invoice, which is a monthly procedure where we generate and bill ourselves automatically, we need to make sure that the so-called condition record is already maintained. So meaning that we go to transaction code slash N M R M one, that's slash N M R M one for the output type K O N S and the combination of company code and invoicing party. We need to make sure that our vendor is included over here. In my case, the condition record already exists. If it does not exist, then please include it over here. And then you also must make sure that under the communications tab, let me actually go to the display transaction to show it to you slash N M R M three. Here you must make sure that in the communications tab, also the output device is listed. Afterwards, we can navigate to transaction code slash N M R K O that slash N M R K O. Over here, we provide our supplier, the plant and also our material. And then we deselect the consignment because we have here the pipeline process. This transaction here, the settlement transaction for the automatic generation of invoices can be used both for the consignment process that I have explained in another video and also for the pipeline process. Then we click on display to not write to the database, but just inspect what would be written to the database in case we click on the settle indicator. Let's execute. We can see over here. What would happen is that one invoice will be generated for our supplier, for the material we created, the quantity with we withdraw, which would be hundred and the total amount would be 5,000. So this is fine. We can go back and actually settle. And you can see the accounting document has been created successfully. Let's inspect this document. Here we can see we have a credit to the vendor as our liabilities decrease. And we have a debit to the payables consignment account, which is in the end a clearing account, if you see it like that. Now we can actually print or transmit the settled document to the vendor. So for the invoice created, we go to the transaction code slash N M R 91 that slash N M R 91 for the output type K O N S created on would be today. Execute. Now we select our line and execute. And we can see all selected output successfully processed. We can also inspect the print medium via more go to print preview. And here we can inspect the document that can be sent to our supplier to display that we have invoiced us for the consumption of the pipeline material. Yeah, this concludes our whole process. So first of all, we created the material master with the material type pipe via MM01. Then we created the purchasing info record for the pipeline material via ME11 where it's important to also state both the net price and the tax that we'll apply. Then we posted the goods issue for the amount we, we have withdrawn via the MIGO transaction. Then we settled the invoice 
which is done on a monthly basis via MRKO transaction. And also we made sure that the condition record exists, which is done via MRM1 transaction for the output type KO and S. And then optional, we can print or transmit a settlement document to the vendor via MR91, depending on our configuration. Yeah, and this is the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If so, please subscribe to the channel and see you next time.